When I was 15, I thought I was brilliant, athletic, da da da, everything was great. And then I went without the proper background to college. And I was 16 years old, and at the end of my first year, I thought I was stupid because I didn't have the background that everybody else had. I went to an all girls high school, and they didn't offer physics. So, what I should have done is taken more math and physics before I started college. And I also should have believed in myself more. It took me a very, very long time to recover from this lack of self-esteem after that freshman year, which, by the way, is typical, again, of female students. So I would tell myself, you are really smart. Don't be an idiot. Don't buy into this whole macho stuff that you're not, you're not smart enough. But don't go to college unprepared. Take those classes. My name is Catherine Fries. I'm an astrophysicist. I'm the George Eugene Uhlenbeck Professor of Physics at the University of Michigan. But I'm also a guest professor at Stockholm University, so I spend the fall in Stockholm and then the winter in Michigan. I think the fact that we are at the forefront of technology, so we get to do things that people have never tried before. I'm a theorist, but I rely on the data that are coming in from either the astronomy or, or particle physics, and the fact that we're, we, we get to really th think of new things and creative things that people have not tried before. I think that's the coolest part. The problem with being a theorist is that you don't know if what you're doing actually matches reality. You can be very clever. You can do things properly, self-consistently, mathematically, and so on. But then what if nature is just different? So my worst nightmare is that everything I'm doing is science fiction. So at the moment, I don't have a regular routine because I have a semester in each country. Uh, when I'm in Michigan, it's, that question is easier to answer because I'm teaching twice a week. I have lectures for an hour and a half. Usually, I'm teaching a graduate course in cosmology, for example. And then I'm also going to faculty meetings and doing as much research as possible. Then for the rest of the year, it's more complicated. And yes, there's a lot of travel involved because I've been, well, I was director of Nordita, this Nordic Institute for Theoretical Physics for two years. And I think because of that, I got a lot of very high profile invitations. So I went all over Europe giving a lot of lectures. Then I published a book also. So then I had a book tour. So I was traveling, traveling, traveling a tremendous amount. And I do have, I'm very fortunate, the Swedish government has been very generous to me, so I now have five graduate students and six postdoctoral fellows in Sweden, and I'm trying to work with them. So that involves a lot of, uh, a lot of projects, so a lot of research, it's a lot of fun meeting with them, trying to keep up with them. So my life is, is it's really busy right now. I was born in Freiburg in Germany and moved at nine months to the United States, because my parents immigrated, and mostly was raised in Washington, D.C. Then went to undergraduate. I got my bachelor's degree at Princeton University, my master's at Columbia University, my PhD at the University of Chicago. Then I had postdoctoral fellowships at Harvard in, at the Institute for Theoretical Physics in Santa Barbara. I was an assistant professor at MIT in Boston, went with tenure to the University of Michigan 25 years ago, and I've been there ever since. Now I also have this joint position at Stockholm University. To do what I do, you need a PhD in physics, end of story. And you need, uh, I guess I'm talented in mathematics, so I need that. The soft skills, well, I'm very good at, I think, at networking, talking to people. Different people use different skills in my profession. So some people are purely mathematical and go and shut the door and never talk to anybody. That's the minority. Most of us collaborate a lot. We're creative. We work on a napkin or an envelope, coming up with ideas, seeing maybe it's going to work, maybe it's not. And then from this initial collaborative period, then we go and shut the door and calculate something. So getting, working with people is a very important component of what I do, and also the creative side is very important in what I do.